Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Gian and welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna do my first ever I don't know, I don't wanna call it mukbang cause mukbang is usually a live uh, food eating show in Korea but you know, most people do it in YouTube anyway so I'm just gonna call it, you know, me eating in front of the camera so yeah so if you guys can um, guess what this is chicken feet and chicken feet are you know it's a regular it's chicken feet and chicken feet are mostly eaten by um, Asian countries but yeah not most people are eating chicken feet for most people for for most people it's gross and I do understand that not all people eat this kind of food I happen to do so yeah so I cook it like uh, in adobo style, like Filipino adobo style and adobo is basically um, vinegar, soy sauce, um, garlic, um, pepper, and bay leaf and if you want a little heat you can add chili. So you basically put everything in a pot, chicken feed and all the, the, the spices and the ingredient and just let, let it cook until the meat tenderizes. So. I probably cook this for around like 35, uh, 30 to 45 minutes. I didn't really time it, but yeah, basically around around the time. And I have a plain rice here, just um, plain white rice, because you know we Filipino, we love everything with rice. It's our staple food. It's like mashed potatoes here in America. But yeah, so if you if you're not into this kind of food, you can. Skip this video and I could totally understand that if it grosses you out then it's okay then but if you're into this kind of food then continue watching me so uh, and I want to eat it like soon as soon as possible because chicken feet is mostly consists of uh, like cartilage or you know silicone it's very glutinous so the color it gets like you can see like the sauce gets thicker and when it gets really cold like this sauce turns into like um, like solid glue so I want to eat it while it's still a little warm so I want to see that's my first oh, stripping my first chicken feet I want to put sauce on the rice and then I and then we usually eat this with our hands we don't use fork or spoon yeah. so this is how we eat in the Philippines I mean with some food just like you know chicken feet So it's already tender but if I cook it for 10 or 15 minutes more it's gonna be like uh, the meat will gonna be like a uh, meat fall off the bone what it's tender now I mean I, I mean you can eat this as is but I just won't love I just want it with rice So if you're wondering what adobo tastes like, it's salty, salty and vinegary, so it's salty and sour. Mm. 
So this is gonna be like messy. But never had lunch yet. It's already like 5 p.m. I'm hungry. I never had. Chicken fit for months. And I'm sorry if, I, if I'm talking while eating because I don't wanna bore you guys. See, like this sauce is really starting to get really thick. It's also feel like sticky in your hands. So usually you eat this while it's still warm because when it gets cold it's not it's not fun to eat anymore. So I haven't eaten before in camera and it's and it actually feels weird doing it for the first time with the camera in front of you and you know that some people out there are gonna watch it and they are focused on your face, on your mouth, on how you eat. Like I don't think I can do it in in real life like with real people live people in front of me watching me while I'm eating because that really gonna make you self-conscious but it's recorded so it's fine I mean if people judge you or people judge me I don't really care so it's a little peppery and I put a lot of garlic which I love so. sorry if my mouth looks messy Some people who are watching me right now, like um, for people from the first world country, America or Europe, and wonder why I'm using it with my hand. It's common in the Philippines. I don't know where we inherited it, but using by hand with your hands in the Philippines is very common. That you usually hmm, see it with your parents doing it, and of course, as a kid, you do what the older people do, and then you get used to it, and then you catch on with the next generation. And we have we call that um, boodle fight where. We use the banana leaf and then we put like rice and whatever viand you have, like fish, pork, you know, whatever food. And it's like in the long table and there's like um, family or friends around it and you all eat in that table with your hands. I mean, if you want to use spoon and pork, you can do that, but most people 
do it and eat with your hands. Well, don't worry. No one's gonna judge if you use spoon fork. So tell me guys what part of chicken do you eat and do not eat? Uh, well me, I eat chicken feet but I don't eat the chicken head, I don't eat chicken head, I don't eat neck, I don't eat the like the butt part and then what else? I just don't eat head because uh, I mean there's eyes in it, brains, ears, I don't eat it, but chicken feet I do. Chicken wing is my favorite. Mm -hmm. See how my hands get like sticking out. We have different um, ways to cook chicken feet in the Philippines and one of them is adobo which is uh, the common way to cook it and we also like to uh, broil it or what you call that like barbecue kind and it's usually like you can see it in the street food it's one of, it's one of the big, uh, most common street food in the Philippines Stick in a, uh, we stick it in a barbecue stick and then cook it over coal. It's really weird how close. To, oops, it's really weird how close the camera now to my face because I don't usually film with the camera this close. Like you can see, like I can tap it with my foot. So you guys can see how gross my food is. My food is and how gross I eat. So I'm thinking, should I edit this video or just upload it like raw and so you guys see everything. Because to be honest, I watch a lot of uh, mukbang before and some of and most of them run their video I mean, at least like 20 minutes or so. And I must admit that I have no patience watching it from from zero to like 40 45 minutes I usually just you know skip the video because it's kind of boring to watch so I'm not sure if what I'm doing right now is really interesting or because for sure some people are into it so and it's my first time doing it So I can't really say that, oh, I'm enjoying doing this because I still feel a, a little self-conscious eating while talking and 
having my mouth and hands messy with food. There's actually a lot of Filipino street food that I don't eat, but at least I tried them once or twice. Because I'm not a big eater, and I'm kind of adventurous when it comes to food, so uh, I tend to try even, you know, so I know how it tastes like, and if I don't like it, then I'm not going to eat it again. I think it's more fun to do a mukbang show or an eating show with someone because it's always fun to eat with, you know, other person next to you. Because it's going to be conversation, laughing, changing of opinion. See all these ligaments or what's ligaments, tendons. Yes. So I like gelatin, like silicone. Mm. I remember when I was a kid my dad used to <clears throat> my dad used to eat um, I'm not sure if it was pig brains or or a cow brain and I don't eat them and that's one of the food I don't even want to call it as a food because it's brain like Hello, I'm not a zombie, but my dad used to ask me to uh, cook it because I cook it perfectly because you don't want the brain to like explode or break while you're um, cooking it. And it happened that I can cook it like how the way he wanted to be cooked. I think I tried to taste a little because my dad is kind of like vicious like if he tell you try it you have to try it or, or otherwise he, he will get pissed so I'll try it I don't like it it's gross the texture is gross plus the fact that you know you were eating brains like I don't think that's normal I'm not a zombie, so I'm not gonna eat brains. So that's something that I'm not gonna eat, try like ever. Or maybe if there's some money, um, if there's some money involved, then yeah, probably will. But it's still gross. If you think that chicken feet is gross, think of that pig brains. Mm -mm. Already full. And this chicken feet is already cold, like look at the sauce. You don't even 
like run or drip anymore this is what I was telling you guys earlier that once it gets cold like the sauce because it's like um, not silicone am I saying it right it turned into like glue It's like gelatin, it's very gelatinous. And the sun is going down on me. <gasps> so I need to hurry. I'm just using natural light right now. Front the window. I'm not sure how messy my mouth looks like, but I already warned you about that earlier. So. You can't stand my massive face then you can skip the video it's funny okay I still have two four five six feet chicken feet I'm just gonna finish this right and I'm done and Let me know if you enjoyed this video, if it grosses you out, if you want me to do another video like this or not, and what kind of food you want me to eat next time. I can promise that I will, you know, try everything, but as long as it's edible, I might try. I don't know how long this video is already, honestly. Okay. Let me do this for the thumbnail. That's all the bones, and I run out of rice. That means the show is over. I need water. Ooh, look at my hand. Ah. There's like, it feels like there's glue in my hand. That's how gelatinous it is. It really does. So that's all for today guys, if you enjoyed this video of me eating chicken feed then give this video a thumbs up, comment, rate and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye!